Hello, everybody, and how are you all doing today? It's Rusty Champagne here with you, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We're here once again in the world of kebab chefs, where they have just recently come out with an update for this game just in time for Easter. So there's now an Easter event in the game where, among other things, there is a, a special thing in the game. There's an Easter basket that you can set up in your shop that will give you Easter eggs. So some of your customers will pay you in Easter eggs, and then you can use those Easter eggs to get certain decorations. So if we kind of take a look in here, uh, if we go to our warehouse and we go to our inventory, we have this Easter basket that we can set up in our store. And then some customers will pay us in Easter eggs. And then you can use those Easter eggs to get all these fancy decorations. So we can get all these different things to decor that we can kind of set up, I'm guessing, outside of our store. So you can get Easter balloons, you can get a bunny, you can get all kinds of fun things here just in time for Easter. And then there's these other things. Oh, that's all the old Valentine's Day stuff. So that was from the Valentine's Day event. But yeah, this is all the things from the Easter event. And one of the other big things that they added into the game, and I want to see if they actually have it in here. If we go to the warehouse and if I go to stations, they added a microwave, which is a huge thing because this is one of the things that people have been talking about a lot over the course of the game was having something that was going to allow you to reheat your food because apparently it was able to do that, but you couldn't control the temperature and every, as a result, everything ended up getting overcooked and that was causing issues. But now apparently with the microwave, that should be a thing of the past. So I'm definitely excited to see what both of those things are going to be about. So we're just going to hop right in and we're going to go to the, uh, to our restaurant and we are going to just go and we're going to just do some simple recipes. I'm not going to get all that fancy with this. We're just going to do some simple stuff. Here's our waiters that are just kind of longingly looking outside saying, man, I wish we could go outside. Why can we not go outside? Why do we have to stay in here when all the fun is out there? And you guys, you are allowed to go outside. I mean, I'm not holding you prisoner here. Um, <laughs> you, you can go out, cross the threshold. You are allowed. You look so sad in the door. So we're going to come in here, and I might actually try and expand this out a bit. Uh, so I might do a little bit of expansion here. So I think I'm going to give that a look, and I'm going to see if I can maybe expand, give myself a little bit more space, because that's been one of the things that I've been challenged with, is just not having enough space. So I might do a little bit of this. Because that, that's the thing. I don't know if that thing is kind of caught up there. So I might do a little bit of expanding here. And then we'll uh, we'll come back to this in, in a while. So I'll, I'm going to work on that. And then we'll see if we can come back here. Okay, so as you can see, we're now back in our restaurant. You can tell we've made a few changes here. So we've gone ahead and we've kind of expanded our space. So we added a, a couple of more countertops here and we moved our grill out a little bit more here. So now it's kind of over in this corner and this is all pretty much the same as it was before. But we did move some stuff around and we moved a few of, uh, we got a few more countertops and we put them back here. So now we got some space to actually have like our stand mixer and we have our uh, meat grinder back here. We also moved our skewer racks over a little bit and we bought another freezer. So that way I've got some more freezer space, which is good. The only thing I have not yet bought is I need to buy a microwave. So I'm going to do that next. So I'm going to go in here and we will go to warehouse. And I think it was under uh, fern, uh, no, it was under stations. And here's our microwave. So we're going to get a microwave. We're going to set it right there. There we go. So we got a microwave and I think I'm only going to need the one for now and that should be fine. So, and there were also a bunch of achievements in here that I've got to get claimed. So we got all these things. We're going to claim these. That's going to give us stuff to put in our inventory. I think this is just going to be a bunch of decorations, which at some point we can like put up at, and do fancy stuff with. Ooh, that gives us a fancy sink. Um, at some point, maybe I'll put that one up because that one looks really pretty, but we won't worry about that right now. So we got those, and I just now noticed that over here, we also have this fancy Easter basket. So this has 13 eggs in it. Oh, and that's the other thing I need to do is I need to put our Easter basket out. So let's take our Easter basket because we have that in our inventory. Let's take that out, and we're going to set it right here, and we're going to place that right there. So then the question becomes, or I'm going to set it right here by the grill so it can start on fire. So then the question becomes, in our baker's dozen of Easter eggs, can we take these and put an egg in here 
Does that work like that? No. So then we just put that egg back in there. I guess so. Or we set it right there on top of it. Is that like a regular egg? I'm guessing it is. So we'll put that in the fridge. So I'm guessing that those are just like Easter eggs. And they're just like regular eggs. And we just got those for Easter maybe. I'm guessing maybe kind of sort of maybe. I don't know. It could be. And I wonder, there was something I saw in here that you could flip an item. So if we go in here into edit mode, can we, okay, so if we go like this, can we flip this? Uh, no. I was hoping that that was going to like flip the door, but it does not appear to do it. So I was hoping that that's what that was going to do. But no, that's fine. No problem. So I'm going to take some of these things out of here. So I'm going to have one that's going to be all meat and another one's going to be all veggies, I think. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to open this back up. And uh, let's see. Uh, no, I got to get back into normal mode. Going to take all of our meat. So we're going to open all this up, grab the meat, grab our chicken, and all of the meat's going to go in here, and all the veggies are going to be in the other one. And I think that that might help out a bit, maybe. I don't know. And it wasn't until now that I realized that these were actually um, these were not uh, these were not ref they were not refrigerators. They're freezers. That's what I'm trying to say. Words are hard. I keep telling you that. Words are definitely hard. So, yeah, these are freezers. I did not realize that, which is amazing because I would think that that would make parsley and tomatoes wilt. But, no, they do not. Not in this place. So, now we got everything all set. Um, and we are going to get the day started. So, like I said, we're just going to do some simple stuff. I'm not going to get too crazy with this because I just want to see... Uh, what it's going to be like and how many Easter eggs we're going to get from this. And I want to see, because we do have this microwave available, so what's it going to be like if we need to reheat stuff in the microwave? So given the fact that I do have some, <clears throat> some things here to work with, I do have some of this kebab meat, so I should get a couple of green peppers and a couple things of garlic because I, I can use that for my kebabs. So we're going to do that. So we're going to go here. We're going to run out going to run across to the green grocer and I'm going to buy a couple of green pepper and a couple of garlic. So we're going to do that. So we're going to get got a couple of green pepper, a couple of garlic, and we're going to take those and just buy those, run those back over here. And then I think the other thing I'm going to do is I might do some French fries because hmm. I think, hmm, to you too, because I think that I have enough stuff to do that as well. So I'm going to take that box, set it precariously there. <clears throat> We're going to open this up. And I think that, oh, yeah, you can navigate that. That's another thing I realized by watching someone is that you can navigate what you take out of the box. So, I mean, it might be worth it to keep the things in the box. I'm not quite sure. But we're just going to go with this anyway. So I've got enough garlic and I've got enough uh, green peppers to do things for kebabs. And then I've got enough potatoes to do potatoes as well. So we're going to, uh, to do french fries. So I'm just going to do potatoes. I'm going to do kebabs and french fries. And that's all I'm going to do today. And we're going to see what that gets us for... Uh, what am I trying to say? What that's going to get us for um, Easter eggs and see if people bring in Easter eggs for that. Now, over here, I now where did I set? Did this get spun around on me? I uh, Maybe I flipped that. Uh, I'm going to do a real quick edit mode on this. and Oh, I did. So I accidentally flipped that around. So I've got to reflip this. So we're going to set that. Now i got to take this, and I've got to uh, flip. Oh, there we go. Now it's fine. I'm like, wait a minute. I had my uh, – that used to have a drawer because this has my um, – that has my sunflower oil in it. So I have to go and get some – how much kindling do I have down there? I've got two bags of kindling. So I'm going to get two charcoal and just keep that. So I want to have as much charcoal as I do kindling is basically what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to get a couple of charcoal, put them in here. And then I'll just take this box and throw it in the other drawer. So that way I'll have a box that's got charcoal, a box that's got kindling, and we'll, we should be in pretty good shape, and I won't have to worry about putting that stuff on, up on that shelf. So that drawer, it's this drawer. That one's going to have the coal, and then the one below it's going to have the kindling. Okay, so now we're good. She's going to come here and look at the Easter basket. Wonder what that's all about. So there's actually coal in there. So we're pretty good. So now... I've got what I need for the kebab. So we're just going to take this out and we're going to set it up here. And I'm going to get a couple of skewers. So I'm going to grab a couple of skewers, put that in there. And we're going to throw these back up here. So one there. And we're going to grab another one, grab that, put it up here. And we've got that. We're going to set those there. 
And then I'm going to grab uh, these. And this is where it would have been good to leave all this stuff out. The, the garlic and the peppers. I should have just left those out on the counter because then now I'm touching the things twice and it, that's not as efficient. So we're going to take this, grab these, put these on here, and we're going to get this done. So we're going to take these, put them on here, get these all on skewers, put these skewers back in here, and take these skewers. And Oh, I didn't grab the skewer. That was the issue we got here. So we're going to grab that skewer and put that on there and put that back up there as well now i have some fries but i am going to take these other fries so i'm going to take this other potato and i'm going to move the mixing bowl because it should not be there that's going to go back down into there so i still have enough stuff for more kebabs so i'm just going to go with the kebabs until i run out of stuff and then i'll switch off of that now we got two orders of fries ready so i'm going to leave these out i'm going to go where did i put my fryer it is over there so we're going to close that up. I'm going to grab some kindling out. Uh, nope, that's a coal. So I'm going to go down here, grab some kindling, grab a bag of kindling, and close the door and pick up the kindling. I apparently cannot do both of those things at the same time. All right, so we've got kindling in there. We're going to get this lit. I'm going to grab my skewers, and we're going to set those on there. And then we're going to grab some sunflower oil from here. We're going to close that because I have a love-hate relationship with my drawers, or with my doors. And we're going to grab a thing of sunflower oil, dump it in there, turn that on. Going to take the basket out of the fryer. Going to close that up. We're going to flip that over. And I'm going to grab a plate. And we're going to get this ready and set that there. That is all good to go. I'm going to wait for this to be done. And then once this is done, I am going to... Okay, we're going to pull that off. We're going to set it right over there. And then we're going to pull that off. We're going to set it here. We're going to detach that from there. Get rid of the skewer. Set it there. Get rid of the pepper. Set it there. Grab the garlic. Put it there. Get some slices. Got all the sliced garlic. Put that back in the rack. Take that. Put it under the cloche. And try and put it under the cloche. Try and put it under the cloche. Why are you not going under the cloche? Am I too far away? Um, oh, it's not on the menu. That's what the problem is. All right, so that's going to go on our microwave because I don't have that on the menu. So we are going to close the microwave, and I am going to go to the menu, and I'm going to put the kebabs on the menu, and I'm going to put the french fries on the menu because without having them on the menu, you can't do anything with them. So we're going to close the tablet. I'm going to turn this on, and we're going to see what happens with this. Because I don't know what's going to happen with this. So we've got that going. And does it stop at some point, or do I have to stop it? All right, I'm just going to stop it. And we're going to grab that. We're going to put it under the cloche. And that is simple kebabs. And that's good, I guess. Okay. I guess that's fine. And then we're going to take our fries... We're going to put them in the basket, take that, put it in the fryer, grab another plate. We're going to grab the nice round plate this time. So a nice round plate. We're going to grab our our ketchup, a little dollop right there. And we're going to, and I'm actually going to leave this kind of right here. And then we're going to grab some mayo, and we're going to leave it right here. And we're going to put a little dollop on there as well. Set that right there. Wait for our fries to be done. And they should be done momentarily. And we're going to grab them out of there with our bare hands and put them on the plate. Put them underneath that cloche. And there we go. They, we just don't have good potatoes. They're not a fan of our potatoes for whatever reason here. All right, let's get this open. The Rusty Spoon is open for your convenience. So now we're going to take these skewers. We're going to put them up here because we do not need these anymore. And right now we just, we're going to be interested to see who pays us in eggs and how that's going to work. So we will have some customers come in here. We will see if they pay us in Easter eggs or if they just pay us in regular cash money because I really don't know what to expect here at this point. So we're just going to wait and see. And we have enough stuff ready for another round of orders. So we're in pretty good shape. And we'll be able to handle, hopefully, whatever gets thrown at us. That's the goal at least is that we'll be able to handle whatever gets thrown at us. So we're going to see what happens with these people mm. and see if they pay in eggs or if they just pay in money or if they pay in both. 
I'm not quite sure, and the waiter is in my way. Um, uh, excuse me, I need to see what this gentleman's going to do. Okay, so it looks like he just paid... Oh, no, there's an egg on the mm. table. I see it. We're going to take the egg and look at it sparkle, and it's going to go right in there. Perfect. So we got some Easter eggs. Um, so it doesn't look like everyone leaves an egg? Maybe? No, it does not look like everyone does. So some people do, others do not. But, hey, we have one egg, so that's a start. So as we get enough eggs, we can then go about making um, improvements. Mm. And we can, uh, well, not making improvements, but go about getting decorations. That's what I meant to say. So we're going to take that. We're going to set it there. We're going to grab another plate. And I'm going to set it there. This time we're going with an oval plate, I guess. A little dollop of mayo. A little dollop of ketchup. And we got a little bit of both. And you are ready to go. And you are ready to go. And then you will... We will wait and see whether or not any, either of them leave an Easter egg. Or are we only going to get well, like one Easter egg a day? Maybe that's what's going to happen? Mm. I'm not quite sure. But our restaurant has leveled up, so that's a nice thing. We're going to take this... Oh, I probably can't put... Now, this will be interesting to see. Can you put... Oh, it won't matter, because they're going to take that last thing of it anyway. So we're going to set that right there. Mm. And that's still pretty good. There we go. I was wondering, can you take a plate of French fries that has ketchup and mayonnaise on it and put it into the microwave? My answer, my thought on that would be no, because that's disgusting. Mm. But you never know, because this is a game. So it's possible that they don't have that kind of thought of as they do this. But it's hard to say. And who knows? Maybe people like warm ketchup and warm mayo. You, you never can tell in the rusty spoon. People do have interesting tastes. So right now we're just looking to see if anyone else is going to drop off an Easter egg. But right now it does not seem like it. And we're also waiting to see whether or not anyone is going to also come into the uh, restaurant. So, okay. Right now we got one thing of french fries left. We got one thing of kebabs left. I think we're in good shape. I think we're going to have enough to handle anything that gets thrown at us. So many people are smiling. Mm. All the people that are smiley out there. That's so nice. And we have all the smiley people. And where's our other waiter? Oh, there he is. He's over there doing his thing. So mm. she took the last order of kebabs. And he is taking care of that person. And yeah, all the people out there that are smiling. All the shiny, happy people holding hands. <laughs> and yeah i do believe we're done for the day yeah the day is over so we're going to get cleaned up we've gotten one easter egg on the day and i forget how many we need for like the first round of uh, special things three so once we have three easter eggs we can get a happy easter balloon and doesn't that look pretty and we might actually do that. Oh, you can get oh, you can get different colors. Oh, look at those fancy colors. I like that one. I might have to go with that one when we get it. And there's another Easter egg. All right, we got two Easter eggs. Look at us go. We are cooking with gas now. We've got that. We are going to get rid of the rest of this. Um, whoop, we're not going to do that. We're just going to remove that. And I'll take care of this dish. I dirtied it. I will clean it. You don't have to worry about it. I've got this one, folks. Thank you very much. We will get that taken care of. Perfect. There we go. Another day done. We're just going to go in here right now, and we're just going to end the day. Not, oh, I have debts to pay. All right, I'm not going to end the day because I've got to pay my debts. So we're going to go to the bank. I'm going to pay my debts. There we go. Now I'm going to end the day. Apparently, they don't even let you end the day if you can't pay your debts. So there's a the thing. All right, debts are paid. Simple kebabs are level five. French fries are level five. They are wonderful. And look at all that money we made and all those things that we spent money on. And then there's our fancy automat that I don't know where that's coming from, but who knows, and that's fine. All right, it's a new day. Get ready for another new day. And we got a new recipe unlocked there. What is that? Do I even want to know? All right, so every day we have to pay our staff wages, it seems like. So we're going to do that. Let's go to this menu. And what is that new thing that we ordered or that we got? Um, oh, that's donor or Donner. 
I don't know how you pronounce that. I don't know if it's Donner or Donner. I really should look that up one of these days to know exactly how that's supposed to be pronounced. But that's what, finally, we got something that we can use our Donner slash Donner cooker for that we don't currently have. So uh, that would be something that we could also try. And that might be worth trying at some point. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, well, let's see. If we go to that, what does that menu take if we look at that? Uh, yes, I know I unlocked that. Now I'm going to go and take a look at it. What are you? You're a six. So what is this? Um, slice a ribeye, attach to a donor machine, grill each side, take a donor knife, slice, shave off slices um, using that knife, and then it's just french fries. Okay. So we need basically a couple things of french fries, and we just need to take a ribeye and put it on there, and that's it. I think I can do that. I think I can make that work. And then do that along with some kebabs? Yeah. I'm feeling good about that. We can do that. I believe in us. I think we have the... I, we can build it. We have the technology. Let's do this. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have in terms of ingredients here. And before I do that, oh, look at chicken. I want to see what this building is all about over here. So apparently... Oh, you can buy a bigger restaurant. Ooh, that's huh. what it is. Huh. Hmm. Huh. All the people that are grunting at me. Uh, so if we had $50,000, apparently we could buy a new restaurant. I do not have $50,000, and I can barely run the restaurant that I've got. So I think we're just going to leave that alone. And we will focus on that another day. But for right now, we're not going to worry about that. I turned off the radio because I could not find a station that I liked. And <laughs> I just didn't want to keep dealing with it. So now... If we do this, I'm going to need a donor knife or a donor knife, and I'm going to need a cooker as well. So we're going to go to the warehouse, going to go to stations, and here, uh, where is it? Is it, oh, it's here. So we're going to buy that, and we are going to put that there, and I'm going to set that right up here next to our Easter basket. And you know, we'll put it right there. There we go. Got one of those, and I'm going to have to buy a knife. In order to do that, so I have to run over to the um, to the market to do that. So I got to go over there and I got to get a knife because we need a fancy knife in order to cut this stuff. Can't just use a regular old knife. We need a fancy one. So we got one of those, <clears throat> and we're gonna put that in there. Now the question is, will that knife go in the knife rack? We will find out in just a moment. So let us see if this knife also goes in the knife rack. Because there's plenty of slots in the knife rack for a knife. Will you fit? Yes, you will. And you are slightly different from all the other knives. So that is good. Okay, so now if we take a look, we're going to go back to our menu. And we're going to do the this. And we're going to do the kebabs. Because I still have kebab stuff. And I have one set of everything. So I'm going to need one more green pepper and one more garlic. And I'm going to need two potatoes. And this uh, for this, if we go back here and if we pin this, because you can only pin one at a time. That's the unfortunate part. So for this, we need uh, a uh, we need to slice a ribeye. Okay, so and I think I've still got a whole ribeye in here. I'm almost positive I do. Uh, yes, I have a whole ribeye. So in that case, what I need, I need one garlic. I need one green pepper. I need a, I, I'll need a couple potatoes. And I think I'll be fine. Because so that way, that'll give me, once again, enough stuff for two rounds of product. So... One garlic, one green pepper, and two potatoes. And I'm going to leave this guy's door open again because that's what I do. So one green pepper, one garlic, two potatoes. And I'll actually pay for my stuff. Thank you very much. Cheapest produce in town. I love you. All right. I'll even actually close your door because I'm feeling nice this time. All right. So let's run back and let's close our door because we'll at least close our own door. I mean, we're going to leave his door open, but I'll at least close my own. All right. Now this time I'm going to be smart and I'm going to take these things, set them out here, and immediately put them on a skewer. And then put, no, uh, put them on the skewer. There we go. And then take the skewer and put it up here on the top rack. Now I'll take the potatoes. We're going to set them right there. Look at me being all the smart SMRT. <laughs> I, I occasionally learn, not always, but occasionally. 
So there we go. And then I've I've had many people that have said, um, salt your French fries. And the reason I don't salt my French fries is very simple. If you look at the recipe for French fries in this game, yes, if this were reality, you would want to salt your French fries. But if you look at the recipe here, it says nothing about salting French fries, which is why I do not salt them. But yes, if this were reality, yeah, I'd salt the heck out of my French fries. You can count on it. But in this game, it says nothing about salting the French fries. They apparently want them super bland. And as a result, we just kind of leave them as they are. So that's why I never salt the French fries, in case you were wondering. All right, so now we got some French fries. We're going to take those. We're going to throw them in here. And we're going to throw the other ones in here. And now I, what do I need here? I've got a coal and we've got that's the last of our kindling so i'm gonna have to get some more kindling another time and we're gonna open this up i'm gonna get a coal i'm gonna take that coal put it in there and then we're going to take our kindling put it in there so that's ready to go so now the other thing i've got to do so i'm going to actually take this coal set it up here now and then i will as i get more i'm going to try and have as much kindling as i do coal from now on and just kind of keep on balancing things out that way. That's the idea at least. So now we're gonna go here and here. We're going to slice a ribeye. So we're gonna set that there. We're going to go here, give it some slices, two to be exact. Set that back there. We open this up. So uh, if I look at this, we, again, we do nothing with this other than attach it to the machine and that's it. So I'm going to leave this. Do I have everything I need? So let's take a look. I've got, uh, I've got one bottle of sunflower oil. We're going to put that in there. We're going to close this up. Going to light this up. Going to turn this on right there. We're going to turn this on right here. I am going to attach this to here. Um, it goes, oh, you got to hold it down. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? I'm going to grab a plate. And we're going to set the plate right there. I'm going to grab my french fries. I messed this up. And we're going to grab the basket, take the basket out of here, set the basket there. I'm probably burning the heck out of my meat. Going to take that, put it there. Uh, no, because it says that that needs to be rotated. But I don't know how you rotate this. So I'm just kind of looking at it right now because it doesn't show that there's anything that I can do with it. I mean, I'm kind of just looking at it and I've got a plate out. So we're going to grab some mustard, not mustard. We're going to grab some mayo, going to grab some ketchup, put those both on there. Oh, I'm out of ketchup there. And at some point I got to grab my knife. I don't know when, but at some point I got to grab my knife. So we're going to take that with our burning hands and now do I, I'm going to slice this, I think. I, because that's the thing. It's not telling me that it's ready. So I don't know. This is what happens when it's the first time that you make this stuff. So we're going to slice this off. We got one, two, three, four, five. I guess we're good. Going to take that. We're going to run our plate over here and kind of set that there. And we're going to grab these slices and just put them there one at a time. Are they done? It looks like they are. They're not saying anything otherwise. So I think that's it. We're gonna take that, put it under the cloche. Is that good? It looks like it. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're gonna do the other part of our kebabs. So we're gonna do that because I've got more kebab stuff. So we're gonna just do it, make that happen. So, oh, I didn't put that on there. Let's put it on there. And we're going to grab a plate. And we're going to grab the nice oval plate because I like the oval plate. Going to close our refrigerators because I am learning to close them. That's just going to stay there. Keep cooking. As far as I know, it's going to be good. And we should be fine there. Um, that's, that's what I'm going with at least. So we shall see. I've got enough fries for another round of this. And then everything else should be good. So we're going to take that off. We're going to set it over here on the cutting board. We're going to take this off, put it here, F to detach it, put that there, get rid of the skewer right there. Going to take the pepper, put it on here. Going to take the garlic. Uh, nope. Going to set the skewer down, take the garlic, 
and get some sli nope not with that knife this nice slices all the slices that's gonna go there garlic on there under the close you go right about there serve it up and look at that ain't that perfect yeah, well it's not but it's pretty it's pretty nice day 14 the rusty whatever it is the rusty spoon is open for your convenience okay so now I need one more skewer of meat. So let's grab this. And we're going to take this. We're going to set that there. And I've still got meat for more. Okay. That's that's mm. good. And we're going to set that right back there. Leave that alone. Mm. And we're going to see what people order. And this skewer can go back because I no longer need it. And our waiters, Timmy and Tammy, because that was the name that I saw. So Timmy and Tammy are going to town. They are going to be our official waiters of Kebab Chefs. So whoever it was that came up with that, thank you very much for the names of our waiters. They will be forever known as Timmy and Tammy. <laughs> and they will be the official representatives of the Rusty Spoon. And um, so, yeah, right now we've got a little bit of each. This is nice because, again, I just kind of get to sit here, breathe, Watch. Okay, so I need more simple kebabs. So we're going to do this. Grab this right away. Mm. Put that up there. Grab that right away. Put that up there. And that is all good. We're going to grab a plate. And we're going to set that here. We've gone up to level 13 in our restaurant. So we're just continuing to level up oh so nicely. Going to flip that over. And we've still got some donor. Or Donner. I'm going to have to look up how that's pronounced. It's one or the other, and I just don't know which. And we're going to keep flip-flopping until <laughs> the end of the episode. Okay, so you're going to take the last of that. That's good. Going to take this off of here, set it there, detach it, put it there, move the skewer. Take mm. this, take it off of here. Uh, take the pepper off of here. Take the garlic. Nope, set the skewer down. Grab the garlic. Grab the knife. Slices. <laughs> That goes there. Garlic on the plate underneath the cloche, replacing the other one. There it is. And look at us go. Man, we are really rolling. Grabbing our other fries because we need those. Dropping them right in there. In they go. Boom. And close that up. Grab another plate. And we're going to probably have to get some more plates at one, at one of these junctures. Mayo and some ketchup. So we're going to grab some ketchup. Put that over here. Got that. Set that there. Grab our donor knife. Uh, put our skewer back. Uh, grab our donor knife. Uh, just set that there. Okay. And we're going to slice off five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to set that back. And then we're going to grab this with our bare hands. Put it on there. Ow! And we're going to grab our donor slices or donor slices, whatever it is. Apparently, you can only grab them one at a time. I thought you could grab more than one at a time. Did I only cut four? Are there four there? How many are here? Uh, is that four or five? I thought there were five on there. We'll find out. I'm missing an ingredient. So, yes, people are getting shortchanged on this one. Because I thought I sliced five. Apparently, I only sliced four. But <laughs> that's, mm. that's my bad, not yours. Ooh, there's an Easter egg. Ooh, let's get it. Grab it. Oh... We have an Easter egg. Oh, we have another one. Oh, uh, all the Easter eggs. They're all just been sitting there all this time. I have not been paying attention to my Easter eggs. Um, and normally you want to be paying attention to your Easter eggs. Because they're normally always fun. So uh, that person is done. So I guess it will just kind of stay there. Because you can't take it off of there. So I wonder if that means that you just, at the end of the day, you just kind of lose that. I don't know. All these people are done. Are there any more Easter eggs out there? I am not seeing them. So it looks like we are out of Easter eggs. And I'm going to probably... Okay, so I've got enough stuff for one more round of kebabs. So, and that's probably all I got. And then I can probably go back to doing... Do I dare do some more schnitzel? I've got enough stuff for schnitzel. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll go with that. But first, most importantly, we've got to get an Easter decoration. I mean, come on now. <laughs> That's why we have the eggs. So we're going to get a fancy balloon. I want this fancy one right here. going to buy that. And we're going to plop that right here in front of the store. Look at that. Don't that look 
Purdy right there in that window. Blammo. Look at that. Don't we look fancy? We're going to take a look at that from the outside. It's a major award. <laughs> going to set that there. Um, do we have everything done that we need to do? We need to remove all this so we don't get anything from the health department. I'll let you guys take care of the plates because um, I know that you guys like doing that. And I don't want to take your jobs away from you. There we go. Now, did I pay you guys? I did. So you've been paid. Everything is good. Once the plates are clean, I can close the day out. The plates are clean, and everything is wonderful. Let's close the day. And there we go. Donors up. Kebabs are up. Or Donner. Whichever it is. One of those. We are going to go down here. Look at all that money we made. And we paid $900 in expenses. We served 13 dishes, made some more automatic earnings from something, and it's another new day. So once again, let's take a look. So I might do more of that because that was pretty easy. I do kind of like that one. So we're going to walk out of here, and I do want to go back here to the warehouse. And I do want to see because there are these stands, and we can get stands. So what is that stand? It's a mini modern beverage cabinet. It consumes electricity, and then we have this, the tea stand. A quick way to get tea for those who can't do without tea. It provides passive income. I do love myself some passive income. Uh, maintenance cost is two fifty, but I do love myself some passive income. So we might do some passive income. Uh, I shouldn't have done that in here. We should probably run into the restaurant and set that up in here. Let's open the door. Can I get in? Um, open the door, please. Oh shoot! Uh, all right, now we got to open the door, and now we got to move this. So edit move and where would people like to go for some tea uh, maybe you would like to go right over here and grab some uh, I'm going to be interested to see how this is going to work I hope I didn't mess anything up I'm going to set the tea stand right by the door that seems like it'll be good what could possibly go wrong it's right by the garbage can so we're going to leave that there again I don't know what's going to happen with it but we're going to see because again it's passive income and I do love a passive income I'm all about it so if we look at this, all right, so this, I thought I closed that drawer. So we're going to go back into this, and we're going to close this drawer. And we're going to turn this off. So apparently all the meat does magically disappear from there. And that's all I needed to know, is that that meat does magically disappear. So now if we look, we're going to, once again, we're going to go here. And on the menu, we're going to put on the simple kebabs. And we are going to put on the donor again and we're going to just stick with those because the thing i don't know is if i put something else on the menu are they going to be clamoring for it if i don't have it out there that's the part where i'm not sure and i guess i could experiment with it and on top of that where did my schnitzel go i used to have schnitzel out here uh where did it go uh or oh that was another one of the things that they changed so i wonder if i lost my schnitzel again if I go here, can I type it in? I did. Oh. Yeah, the schnitzel's gone. So with that being the case, how the heck do we even get to that? Because the, 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 um, the gourmet, or does he not? Oh, he doesn't take schnitzel now. So what does he want? Huh. I'm not sure. I'm not going to invite him because I don't want to worry about that right now. I'm just going to leave that alone. I don't. So he gives us an electrical furnace and eight recipes. But again, I don't want to worry about that right now. We're just going to stick with things that we're good at, things that we know. Got to pay the electricity. Got to pay the bills. We'll do both of those. That's fine. And we are going to... Uh, so we've got the menu. We've got... Uh, so I can get rid of the schnitzel. So what's the other thing that we can do? I guess I can do... What else do I have in here? I've got chicken legs. So I got a couple of chicken legs in here that I'm not doing anything with. So I guess I could maybe do some of that. Because now i got these mashed potatoes I can't do anything with. So I might as well chuck this. Because these are no longer useful. So I'm just going to dump these out. Because I had those for the schnitzel. And I can't make schnitzel anymore. So we're just going to take that mixing bowl. We're going to set it there. And this mixture of flour and breadcrumbs and all that. I also don't need this. So we're going to get rid of that as well because that is now rendered moot. So we're going to close that up. Let's take a look at our menu again. 
So what do I have? I still have chicken legs. So I can, I'll, I'll do, I'm going to throw this on here. So I'm, not, I'm going to experiment and I'm going to see what happens because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to be the case that having it on the menu is going to make people think that it's always going to be available, even if it isn't. So we're, we're going to find that out for sure. So I need, uh, once again, two potatoes, one garlic, one um, green pepper. Two potatoes, one garlic, one green pepper. And then I think I'll be good there. So we're going to try this out. We're going to see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to, we will find out together. So we need uh, two potatoes and one garlic and one green pepper. Because the idea, what I'm trying to do, is I only have enough stuff to make one round of kebabs. So my idea is that once I run out of kebabs, uh, why are you all waiting? Um, are you? Um, I haven't opened... So, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, so we're going to close this up. So the idea is that if we don't, if we, uh, uh, now I lost my train of thought. Once we run out of kebabs, I'm going to switch over to the uh, to the other stuff. But I see it's asking for 13 to 17 people to be here. And that's got me worried. That's really, really got me worried. So maybe I should not do that. Because, I, I, no, I'm going to stick with my guns. I'm going to stick with it. We're going to see what happens. If it, if it blows up in my face, I will let it. But the only way you're ever going to find out is to experiment and learn. So we're going to try this. So I'm going to take this. So the idea is that when I run out of kebabs, then I will switch over to the chicken legs and go from there. But I don't know how that's going to work. I apparently skewered the wall and no one noticed anything. So we're going to take this out. I'm going to grab a skewer. Because I think I've only got enough for one more round of kebabs. Yes, I do. There it is. That's what I thought. Close that up. I'm going to buy four. Everybody's waiting. Uh, the place isn't open. I. It's still closed. I, I don't know why you're all waiting. So we're going to do four of you, five of you. Will all of you fit in one box? Actually, it's five of you. We'll do six of you now. All right, let's see. Are you all going to fit in one box? Apparently, you are. I wonder if these boxes have unlimited space. It's going to be interesting to find out. So all these people are standing here waiting for stuff. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. So we're going to take that, throw that in there. And now I'm going to grab one bag of kindling, set it down. I'm going to grab one bag of coal and throw it in here. And then I'm going to grab one bag of kindling, throw it in here. And we're going to get that lit. And then I'm going to take the rest of this coal, and I guess I'm going to set it there. There's not much there. I'm going to close that up. I'm going to grab our sunflower oil. That was the last of it that we had. I'm going to close that up. I'm going to grab our kebabs, and we're going to set these on here. I'm going to grab our veggies. I'm going to set these on here. And then I'm going to grab a plate, and I'm going to set it on here. And then we're good with that. And then I'm going to grab this. And we're going to close that up. I'm going to set that down. I'm going to flip this so it doesn't burn. And then I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to take this, put it on here ever so gently. That is all good. And now I'm going to grab this and take it off of here. Set it. Oh, I grabbed the garlic by itself. I'm going to grab that. And set it there. Detach it. Put it there. Going to grab the pepper. Put it there. Going to grab the skewer. Get rid of it. Take this. Slice it up. All the slices. That's going to go under the cloche. There we go. That is done. So that's the kebabs. Right through the mayo and right through <laughs> the ketchup. Now we're going to slice these up. Get these done. And potatoes, potatoes in wedge form and now we're going to turn them into french fry form and everything is good I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take one of these you can't put them in there because it doesn't work for whatever reason so at least not the first time I'm gonna turn that on I'm going to i've got the donor that is going or the don't or the donor or the donair it's going to be funny if it's something completely different than what i'm saying but i don't know uh it's it's hard to tell Gonna take the mayo, put it on here. Gonna take the uh, ketchup, 
grab it, put it on you. Got a little bit each of those. Gonna grab our knife, and we're gonna see if we get five of these. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, we got five this time. Set that down, grab our fries with our hands, and gonna try and grab the fries. Now we're gonna set those back in here. We're gonna grab the fries this time. Gonna take this, put it over here, grab our five pieces of meat. One, got that in the ketchup, that's okay. Three, and four, and five. And set that there under that cloche, and serve it up. And that's pretty good. There we go. So those are the two things I've got. And again, if people come in here asking for chicken, then I made a major mistake, and I will have to live with it. And so such is life. Everybody's waiting. Come on in. Day 15, the Rusty Spoon is open for your convenience. Please don't ask for chicken. Please don't ask for chicken. Please do not ask for chicken because we do not have chicken yet. I will have chicken once we run out of kebabs. So don't ask for chicken just yet. Um, I'm hoping you're only going to ask mm. for what's underneath the cloche. So I, I'm so far it's looking mm. good. So far it's looking good. Because yeah, we'll we'll switch over once I run out of kebabs. But until the okay, this seems good. I'm feeling good about this. So we're gonna grab another plate, gonna set it down, and put it there. So now I'm gonna get the chicken ready. Oh gosh, I forgot what I needed for the chicken. Uh, what goes on the chicken? Let's take a look. It's been so long since I made this. Menu, uh, chicken. What goes on the chicken? Ooh boy. Uh, what is it? Is it, um, it's salt and chili pepper. That's right, that's what goes on the chicken. So we gotta grab, oh yeah, and I set those over here, some salt. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then we got some chili pepper. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Put those there. And that was the end of that. Perfect. You are going to go on there. You are going to go on there. Got to grab that tomato. Where's that tomato? I've still got a refrigerator open. You know me. You know I always leave my refrigerators open. <laughs> That's what I do. That's part of my M.O. All right, flip that, flip that. There we go. That's good. Oh, you guys are waiting for donor and I don't or kebabs and I don't have it. Will you settle for chicken legs? Because I'm going to be switching over to those momentarily. So just give me a moment and we'll switch over to chicken legs and maybe you will want those instead. Uh, tomato, get back on there because you are not done yet. Okay, are you done now? Oh man, you weren't on there at all. Oh shoot. Uh, how are we doing on the donor? Yeah, so now I've got people that want chicken legs, and I've got people that want, um, yeah, this was apparently not the best of ideas. Maybe they see that I'm making chicken legs? I don't know. I'm, I'm completely guessing. This is a complete wild guess. So <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. All right, we're going to grab the tomato, going to put it on here, going to get some nice slices. Apparently no one wants the donor. Probably because I keep on mispronouncing. We're going to set this on here. I'm going to throw it in the microwave, warm it up just a smidge, because I think it's probably a little cold. So we're going to warm it up just a bit, and that should be fine. And we're going to take it out of here, put it under the cloche, and there we go. Uh, chicken legs. All the people who want chicken legs, we got them. There they are. For those of you who want kebabs, I'm sorry. I got nothing to give you. Why don't you try some donor or donair? Or whatever it is. <laughs> that stuff. Mm. Why don't you try it? Because <laughs> we have it. Uh, there's plenty of it here. And we would love you to have it because it's quite delicious. And I bought all the stuff for it. And we do have more Easter eggs. So let's grab our Easter eggs. Uh, we got one here. And I'm sure there might have been another one somewhere. And I've just not been paying enough attention. Because I've been running like crazy. Uh, again, all the people that want kebabs. I'm out of kebabs. I'm sorry. I hate to tell you this, and we're already out of chicken legs, too. Uh, but I have another Easter egg. Yeah, this didn't go according to plan. <laughs> it was a good idea, but it did not go according to plan. And I do not have enough kebab meat to help that out either. So I could, yeah, I'm not even going to try. We're just going to call this a failure. The day is almost over, and that's probably not the worst thing that could happen. But I got a bunch of Easter eggs, so that's good. Oh, you are going to come in. All right. You're a rock star. 
grabbing the last of the donor slash donor slash donor. Oh, all the people that want the kebabs. Yeah. Okay. So, moral of the story, don't put three things on the menu if you're not going to be able to serve all three of them. It looked so good at the beginning, and then it went horribly wrong at the end. Um, would you like some tea? We have some wonderful tea. You can have that. Um, but I'm guessing that's not what you want. So, ah, uh, well. It was worth the try. Uh, we're going to take the french fries, put them back in the fridge. And they will get nice and cold again. And everything will be fine. We we still did okay. It, it, it could be worse. It absolutely could be worse. It could have been a heck of a lot better. But it absolutely could have been worse. Uh, ma'am. Uh, ma'am. Uh, I'm sorry. We're, we're not. Yeah, I see your face. And we're not going to be having any more kebabs today. I'm sorry to say that. You can continue walking all around the middle of the store. It's not going to. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'd be mad too. I get it. I totally get it. You have all the right in the world to be mad. I'm sorry. Look at all the people with the mad faces. All the mad red faces. I've made everybody angry today. You're not supposed to be angry. It's Easter. Everyone's supposed to be happy. I mean, look at the giant Easter bu uh, the giant Easter egg we have here. I mean, you should be happy about that. I mean, shouldn't you? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I know I said it was going to have three things, and I only had two at any given time. But, hey, we got a giant Easter egg. It didn't help. It really didn't help. So I'm sorry you people are, ha are unhappy. Um, but no matter what, happy Easter to you. And I hope that that will make things better. Uh, but that is going to be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, introduction to the Easter event in Kebab Chefs. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you consider giving the channel a subscribe. But that is all for now. As always, thank you very much for always being a part of all of my silliness. I'm Rusty Champagne. Happy Easter to you. And we will. See you later.